This locomotive is designed to run as a two-cylinder adhesion-only machine in sections where it's just rails and then climb itself up a mountain in a, st a section with a rack that's much steeper than anything it could handle just on adhesion. When running on adhesion, we have two high-pressure cylinders down there. When running in the rack, we change it into a compound engine with this steam-driven servo. The simpling valve on this engine is not like most compound engines. If we had a regular four-cylinder compound, like in France, a mainline engine, the simpling valve would turn the high and low-pressure cylinders all into high-pressure cylinders, receiving steam from the regulator and exhausting up the chimney. Same for certain three-cylinder machines. But this one, we cut out the low-pressure cylinders entirely. Join us! Yes. Adhesion! The piston changes the position of two rotary valves. These now direct steam from the exhaust of the high pressure valve directly up the chimney, bypassing the low pressure cylinders completely. The wind With the valves in this position now, the exhaust from the high pressure cylinders is directed into the admission of the valves of the low pressure cylinders before leaving the chimney. The low pressure cylinders on this engine drive the cranks over that of the main wheels, two crankshafts, system winter thaw with a gear reduction to the gears underneath that crawl us up the rack. And in this system, you'll notice the low pressure cylinders are the same diameter as the high pressure because of the increased speed we run on the low pressures. This runs at twice the speed of the adhesion drive. So we trade a larger cylinder bore for more strokes per minute. The function is the same. The horsepower is piston area and number of strokes per minute. So the low pressure cylinders running faster than the high pressures means the bores can be similar and the effect is the same. I'll show you the control about, valve about now. About 60% of the, uh, of the pulling force in rack comes from the LP and 40% from the HP. You can think of the control valve like a momentary switch. It'll look to a lot of English speakers like a brake stand, but here's our live steam from the boiler. It's just saturated, and that servo piston is double acting. So if we want to go to adhesion and cut out the low pressure cylinders entirely, we'll put it there. And it'll start to move. And what's happening is the steam from the boiler is now going into one end of the cylinder. The other end of the cylinder is communicating through this to the atmosphere to exhaust. And then there are these little purge valves that Jonas and I on the cylinder itself just had to unclog. So once it's fully moved over, it has about there. In the center, nothing goes anywhere. We're just exhausting the steam from the side we put it in. And now we're going to switch it. Live steam into the opposite end and exhaust to the atmosphere out of the original end. Okay. I think that's it. Yes. 